Quaker, thank you very much. Well, listen, first of all, let me say thank you, Dave, for the, for the uh, you, hospi uh, that great po hospitality you've had here. I had a great pulled pork sandwich. I encourage other people absolutely to go out into the area and, and to, uh, to, to, to use the uh, local businesses in, in the area. So we're going to be talking about... So what we're going to be talking about, as we've been talking about, so what we're going to be talking about is an aggressive agenda during the course of this campaign of getting New York back growing again, to make sure we lower our property taxes, stop any new unfunded mandates, to make sure that we phase out the corporate tax. We've got an aggressive program to get New York working again. As I'm talking to members of the Chamber of Commerce, and local local office holders as well. Uh, everyone is talking about the fact that we need we need financial stability in Albany, growth. We need to have more jobs, and we need to have a government that we can trust. And when I'm when I'm governor, we're going to we're going to deliver just that. And what you hear back here is exactly Albany, by the way. People that try and shout their way out and won't enter into a reasonable debate and get things done. And so that's why we're standing together. These are all people that are doers. Supervisor, chairman, ch chairman, uh, where are you, Billy? You're embarrassing your candidate. And of course, the great county executive from Orange County, Eddie Diana. Very pleased to be here with so many elected officials. This could be the best run county in America. I mean, you've got a county where the local office holders have been doing the right job. They've been keeping taxes low, they've been creating jobs, they've been innovative. We saw more productivity increases under uh, the county executive, Eddie Diana, uh, in terms of the, state, uh, the county workforce. We're going to do the same thing when I am when I'm governor of this great state. I've done this before in the private sector. I've done this before in the public sector. I know how to balance budgets. I know how to reduce spending. We've got a specific plan. We're going to create jobs. We're going to get New York moving again. And this county, Orange County, is going to have a great partner when I'm governor. It's going to be Rick Lazio and Eddie Diana and all these local office holders delivering for this county and for this state. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, quick questions. Congressman, listen, we don't. I, I, I've had worse, believe me. You know, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of big mouths out there, but we, we know what we have to do. We know what we have to do. We're going to get this job done together. We're not going to be deterred. We're not going to be dissuaded. We're not going to be shouted down. We're not going to let name calling get in the way. We know what we have to have to do. The people right, want to debate. Yes, Steve yes. Israel from the Tom Yes, of course, Steve. Yes. The people want to debate. Why won't you um, debate, Greg? Why? I'm curious why all the problems you mentioned in Albany uh, going on. Why is there so much? Are you paying so much attention to the mosque issue in the city? And and is it isn't that a well two things? What relevance does it have for folks in Orange County and for the people of the state of New York? Is it a is it a local issue? What, no, I don't think it's a local issue at all. If you look at, at national surveys, I mean, two-thirds of Americans support my debate? position. You've had groups like the Anti-Defamation League, uh, and people from both sides of the aisle, Democratic Senator Harry Reid, uh, Democratic or Independent Senator uh, Joe Lieberman, joining with many other voices like former Mayor Rudy Giuliani and former Governor George Pataki, uh, all taking the same position I have, which is just, let's just disclose where this money is coming from for a $100 million mosque. Are they radical organizations? Are they foreign governments? Let's have an open accounting. Let's do the responsible thing. And this is an issue, I think, that, that transcends party. It trans transcends geography. I think people are, are very concerned about the safety of New Yorkers. And, um, and you know, this is why you're going to continue to have people that are, are very much committed to making sure that that we have a clear, clean accounting, we have transparency in this transaction, and then we ask the right questions of this particular imam who has said some incredibly, I think, incendiary things. Okay, it's, it's, so what, what, what relevance does it have in Orange County? Well, I think wherever you live, wherever you live, people are concerned about the, the risk to our public safety as a result of, of uh, radicalized elements and terrorism. And I think people, wherever you live, look at the area around uh, the trade center site as, as being hollow ground. 
and they've got very strong emotional feelings. I mean, I'm wearing this right now. Uh, yesterday, somebody gave me this. This is uh, of a, from, a, from a firefighter who <coughs> lost a 9-11 from a family uh, member who wanted me to wear this. I mean, I get stopped all the time by people who have lost family and friends uh, in attacks on 9-11, and they feel very strongly about this. So, you know, I'm going to continue to be a voice speaking out on this, and I think that's the case whether, whether you live in, in Goshen or you live in Brooklyn.